This is the weekly prayer time for Northview United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Doug. Today is October the 25th. Our scripture this week is 1 Thessalonians, verse, chapter 1, verses 1 to 10. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We always give thanks to God for all of you and mention you in our prayers constantly, remembering before our God and Father your work of faith and labor of love and steadfastness of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, that he has chosen you because of our message of the gospel came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with full conviction, just as you know what kind of persons we prove to be among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for in spite of persecution you received the word with joy inspired by the Holy Spirit, so that you became an example to all believers in Macedonia and in Acre. For the word of the Lord has sounded forth from you, not only in Macedonia and Acca, but in every place your faith in God has become known, so that we have no need to speak about it. For the people of those regions report about us what kind of welcome we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus who rescues us from the wrath that is coming. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comments section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they'll be included in our next prayer time. I have one announcement. We are returning to breakfast with the pastor this month. That will be on Thursday morning at the Bistro at Friendship Manor at 8 a.m. Please join me for breakfast with the pastor. For our joys, Susie Shelton came through her surgery on her shoulder well. Prayers for her as she recovers. Also, Barbara Mountain came through her procedure well this week. For our prayer concerns, continued prayers for Mary Grace Boytnot and her family as they care for her for the time she is in the glee receiving treatment. John Christensen has undergoing phys physical therapy. Uh, he is improving prayers for him as he continues therapy. Helen Watson's friends, the Taylors, were injured in a lawn maintenance accident. Prayers for the Taylors. Also, I am aware that our church lost a lot of members to death this past winter, and I've noticed it has taken a toll on the congregation throughout the year. And now that All Saints Day is approaching, it seems like that the mourning and the grief that I see in you is heavier. So I'm conscious of what's going on with us as we celebrate life, grieve, and look to God to direct us in terms of what's next for our church. We also offer prayers this week for Israel, Gaza, and for the people of Ukraine, and for any unspoken concerns on your hearts and minds. Our prayer is based on our scripture passage from 1 Thessalonians. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Greeting cards, phone calls, and visits have been extended to homebound members. Friends listened in non-judgmental fashion and held in confidence the worries that were shared. Intimacy has been built around the table of fellowship. Casseroles were taken to the bereaved. We have done everything within our power to comfort others while we were in distress. Throughout it all, we have prayed to you for assurance of faith. Each of us has been drawn to this church to hear the message of your gospel. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, strangers have become family. 
Bless the ministry of Northview Church and direct us in your way that you would have us follow. Hear us now as we offer the prayer that Christ taught the disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.